What's happening everyone? This is Ivan. Consider a following sequence of numbers. 0, 3, 6, 12. Every element is twice the previous one. Let's add a 4 to every element and divide it by 10. The result is 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 1, 1 1.6. Looks simple enough, right? Now, let's put it aside for just a minute. To proceed, we're going to need the astronomical unit. The astronomical unit is simply a unit of length used in astronomy, just like a mile or a kilometer, and is equal roughly to the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Using the astronomical unit we can say that the distance from Sun to Earth is, well, 1, to Mercury 0 0.39, to Venus 0 0.72. Do you see where this is going? When Johann Titius discovered this rule, it was satisfied by all known planets at that time, from Mercury to Saturn. It was considered as interesting but not of great importance until the discovery of Uranus in 1781, which happens to fit neatly into the series. German astronomer Johann Bode, greatly impressed by Titius finding, put it in his book, which gave Bode name to the law. The only missing point was that gap at 2.8 AU, but that only roused the interest. People thought there must be a planet, and so in 1800, 24 German astronomers decided to find it. They divided the sky into 24 zones, and even called themselves the Celestial Police. The planet was found on January 1, 1801, by Giuseppe Piazzi, and it was called Sirius. Then another one was found, and then another one. Because these were not planets, but asteroids, which, as we now know, formed the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The Neptune was discovered in 1846 and was found not to satisfy Titius Bode's law. The discovery of Pluto in 1930 confounded the issue still further. However, Pluto is no longer part of the solar system, so we are only left with Neptune. Furthermore, in 2013, Boviat and Leinweaver applied a generalized version of origin Titius Bode relation to 68 exoplanet systems which contain four or more planets. They showed that 94% of this exoplanet system adhered to a generalized Titius Bode relations to a similar or greater extent than the solar system does. They also made a list of predictions for the existence of additional exoplanets. Subsequent research in 2014 managed to detect five planet candidates from predicted 97. The study showed that the actual number of planets could be larger because so many planets could be missed due to their small size. Despite this, the number of planets found with Titius Bode's law predictions were still lower than expected. The rule has no theoretical explanation. I guess we people just like numbers, and we like coincidences even more. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting stuff, and until next time, stay curious.